All right, in this video, we're going to work through this hydraulic lift problem. It's a pretty typical setup where we have an enclosed fluid with a piston on each side with a different contact area or surface area of the piston. So here on the left, we have an applied force F1 pressing down of 40 newtons with a surface area of the piston of 15 centimeters squared. If we have 300 centimeters squared over on the other side, we want to figure out what is the upward force that is acting on that piston. So for most hydraulic lift problems, each piston will be at the same height. Otherwise, we'd have to calculate a little bit of difference for um, the difference in pressure in the height of the water column. But in general, our applied pressure P is going to be equal to our force over area. So force 1 over area 1, which is equal to force 2 over area 2. So we can rearrange to solve for F2 with a little bit of cross multiplication. F2 is just equal to F1 times the ratio of A2 over A1. So we have 40 newtons times this ratio of A2, 300 centimeters squared over 15 centimeters squared. And the centimeters squared will actually cancel out, so it's a unit of this fraction. And we're left with just 40 times 300 divided by 15. And we're going to find that F2 is equal to 800 newtons. So because of the geometry of this hydraulic lift, uh, we've actually magnified, magnified the force from 40 newtons all the way up to 800 newtons um, in, this, in this system. We can check the pressure at each surface, so being the surface of the piston on the left side and also the surface of the piston on the right side. So let's just quickly check that. So P1 is going to be equal to F1 over A1. And we're going to want units of pascals, which is newtons per meter squared. So we're going to have to multiply this by unity or just the conversion factor between centimeter squared and meter squared, which is 10,000 to 1. And we're going to find that this is equal to 26,667 uh, pascals, or we can kind of round that to 26.7 kilopascals. And when we go and check the pressure at the other side, at the other piston, we'll call that P2. So we have 800 newtons over 300 centimeters squared. And again, we multiply by unity, and we're going to get the exact same number here. So providing the pistons are at the same height, the formula that we just need is F1 over A1 is equal to F2 over A2. If the pistons are at different heights, you would have to account for the difference in pressure as we go up or down in a column of a continuous fluid. 